my main message is to try to encourage you to think of local music the way various other local movements have gone. Local food, local coffee, local beer, local businesses, local design, local art. Um, we have a diverse scene. We have a very close-knit scene. And we have a very professional scene. We have bands that are booking their own tours of Japan. They're booking their own month-long tours of Europe, um, all around the United States. We have one guy that is on, he's been on tour for four years. He'll, he'll stop in town for a month, do a couple of shows, um, and then he's on the road again. He's been doing that for four years. Um, and there's lots of energy within the scene. <laughs> all of these pictures are, are a bunch of my friends. I took a lot of them. Um, <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it's very cool. <laughs> and so, you know, but that's where, that's where you all come in, you know. Um, more people um, helping support the scene. And going to shows, buying music, uh, buying merchandise. A lot of music is ava available online. Um, you don't even have to go to a show. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm in the kind of upper age range of, of going out and doing these things. There's Deer Rabbit right there. Deer Rabbit is the one that tour, tours constantly. Um, and I lost it, see? <laughs> so I'll just go to the other, the other point here, is that to a large contribution can be supporting a venue, not just a band, but supporting where the music happens, either in restaurants, um, or DIY spots, various um, cafes, houses. It happens everywhere. It happens everywhere. And not all shows are kind of the same. You have shows where you buy tickets, and they have a bar, and they have a restaurant, or maybe the music is more of a background music, and people are eating and discussing whatever they discuss at establishments. Um, or you have places like this, where you know, there's just a house, you invite some bands over, you charge people whatever they can pay, maybe they don't pay, they come in and see the music anyway. Um, <laughs> it's, it's very cool. And so, and like this, you know, the, the Pikes Peak Library District has a full <laughs> recording studio <laughs> available. That's me there recording some noise a, a couple weeks ago. That's Rents playing, uh, playing some music at Sugar's. He had actually played next door. The next slide is from next door. And he went to Sugar's to play his encore. Yeah, this next show, the next slide, <laughs> they, they performed on the roof of the garage. <laughs> it was a rental house, so this show happened to get them kicked out of the house. <laughs> but it was a fantastic show. And this is the hostel house. And it's, it's, an, it's a non-functioning house. I want to point out the stair over there and the little bunk, bunk there. And then right here is the, is the stair going upstairs. They crammed all the living room furniture up the stairs, and you invite bands in to play. This is band camp. And I just want I did I hit the Colorado Springs tag. And you know, those are some of, the, some of the genres represented. It goes for 10 pages. And it's a way for a band to independently release music. This, I just did, when I, when I was going to do this presentation, I got online and I just searched Colorado Springs uh, live music. This is one day. This is one day. We have the Riff Rag, which is a monthly newspaper that you can find at various establishments. It's a printed newspaper um, published out of Manitou Springs, I believe. Um, and all of these people that, that work there, oh, and I started Local FM. Based on all of this energy and excitement, I started Local FM. It's an internet radio station that only plays local and regional music. <laughs> from, monument, from Monument to Pueblo, we've got it all. Thanks, guys. 